Clan. I'm a former distributor. I used to run Sony in France, distributing this film Boys in the Hood, which we introduced in 1991. That's uh, 28, 28 years from now. And the film is being shown on the beach here in Cannes, and that's part of Cine Classique. It's a restored print, and I'm so proud and happy to be here to, with the daughter of John Singleton, Justice Singleton. Um, what message would you like to be spread this year by the Cannes Fe Film Festival uh, to people all over the world? A oh, message of hope, and that's a quote from the film Field of Dreams, if you know it. If you build it, they will come. This film, Boys in the Hood, is a fairy tale from the beginning to the ending, including today, where it seems like all the planets got aligned the right. What you need to know is that Justice Singleton heard that there's something happening in Cannes about the movie, and she emailed me. And I said, yeah, and she said, I'd love to come, and said, uh, I'll help. So I spoke with the festival people, and in like, three or four days, we arrange everything, a panel here, another panel there, a badge, a, a presentation on the red carpet to this afternoon, and she, we were met by Thierry Fremo, the head of the festival, and she met with Thierry, Leonardo DiCaprio, having a glass of champagne, and with his mother, who is a very nice person, and we're here on stage introducing the movie, and she was saying, uh, it's very important for me to come back where my father came for the first time as a, as a filmmaker. He, his career started here in Cannes. So I've been here with her all afternoon explaining, we did this with your dad, we did that. Ice Cube came, we did a concert. We had posters here in the Croisette, not regular poster. We had graffiti artists who made art and uh, with Boys in the Wood and the logo. And uh, it, we did a lot of amazing things that never had been done before. The end and the message here is the festival made the career for John. He was recognized here as the next big talent, the most important director in the black community. He came back, people wanted to send him scripts and he was nominated for two Oscars. He was the youngest director. He was not even 23 when he was nominated. And the studio told me when he left, the, the head, Frank Price, the head of the studio said, Wonderful. Thank everyone you and your team. You did an amazing job. The film is now hot. I'm going to change the estimate. I'm going to change the box office estimate, meaning what we predict the film will do on, at the box office. He said, I had now 30 on my paper. I'll make 50. I'll change. And he was wrong. He did 54. So it was actually even better than what he was expecting, meaning what can did for this guy, this gentleman, this director was in terms of box office something around 40 to 50 million dollars at the box office for him the start of a career with two Oscars and and uh, a safe way out of South Central LA where he was raised which is uh, the toughest place in LA and, and that is the message that this film has brought. I've been another email contact with a a producer who emailed me, hey Bruno, I hear you did lots of things for boys. I'm here in town. Let's meet for coffee. I said, sure. I had coffee. And I went to her, say, her name is Ariana William. I said, I have good news for you. I'll introduce you to Justice Singleton. Wow. And you'll meet her. You'll walk up the red carpet. You have the name of a movie. You'll be on a reserve seat. They say, she started crying. But I have this on tape. I recorded this because I knew, so, and she was, ah, this is too much emotion, this is too emotional, what should I do, ah, go for it, it's good emotion, and it's good, so, if you build it, they will come. Thank you very much. Last question, sir. Um, what do you think, um, why do you think art is so important for our society, especially nowadays? Art, art brings people together. I've had so many people who said, you have no idea, you, your dad inspired me. I became a filmmaker because of your dad. And, uh, and art has this power to bring people together, even if they are from different religion, different uh, suburb, different uh, culture. And uh, in this case, uh, that film introduced rap, for instance, made it uh, understandable, but mostly uh, let people see the black community in a different perspective from what it was before, which was portrayed in movies like uh, 
drug dealers or pimp or you name it and this was saying a message that uh, we are all responsible if there's uh, violence in the suburbs it's because they don't have the education the mother uh, have two three or two or three jobs and the, the fathers are in jail and uh, so we need to give them an education and uh, so all, all sort of positive message and there are a few initiatives that uh, deal with positive cinema there's one here called la semaine du cinema positive so this is changing and that, that people are realizing that uh, art film other forms can help and uh, make a better world thank you very much